on December 18, 2024, General Valery Zerasimov, the Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Federation, announced the formation of Russia's 1st Regiment equipped with the S-500 Prometheus Air Defense Missile System. This landmark event represents a substantial advancement in Russia's air defense capabilities, introducing a next-generation system that integrates air defense and anti-missile functionalities. The S-500's deployment not only enhances Russia's strategic posture, but also significant implications for modern battlefield and global military balance. The S-500 Prometheus is designed to counter a wide array of threats, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles, and low-orbit satellites. With an engagement range of up to 600 km, the S-500 surpasses its predecessors, the S-300 and S-400, in both range and versatility. The system is being delivered in two primary configurations, one optimized for long-range air defense and the other for anti-missile operations. This dual capability makes the S-500 an invaluable component of Russia's layered air defense strategy. Compared to the S-400, which has a range of 400 km, the S-500's extended reach allows it to neutralize threats at unprecedented distances. Moreover, the S-500 is specifically designed to intercept hypersonic missiles, a critical capability in an era where such weapons are becoming a cornerstone of modern warfare. Its anti-satellite functionality adds a strategic dimension, enabling it to disrupt adversaries reliance on space-based assets such as communications, reconnaissance, and navigation satellites. General Zurasimov's announcement did not disclose a total number of S-500 units deployed, but the formation of a dedicated regiment suggests a focused and strategic integration into Russia's defense network. The initial deployment is expected to prioritize regions of strategic importance, such as Moscow and other critical military and industrial hubs. Over time, additional units are likely to be stationed in regions near NATO borders and areas of heightened military activity, such as Kaliningrad and Crimea. The S-500's deployment is particularly significant in the context of the ongoing war in Ukraine. Russia has already utilized the S-300 and S-400 systems to counter Ukrainian and NATO air assets effectively. The addition of the S-500 provides an enhanced shield against air strikes and missile attacks potentially neutralizing advanced missile systems supplied to Ukraine by Western powers. Its long-range capabilities could even target NATO assets operating in Eastern Europe, complicating air operations and supply routes. The S-500's introduction is poised to revolutionize air defense strategies. Its ability to intercept a diverse range of threats, from ballistic missiles to hypersonic and aerodynamic targets, ensures that it can address emerging challenges in contemporary warfare. The system's advanced radar and tracking technologies enable it to detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously, offering a robust solution for layered defense. In addition to its defensive floor, the S-500 serves as a powerful deterrent. Its capability to target low-Earth orbit satellites introduces a new element of space-based warfare, potentially disrupting adversaries' satellite-dependent military operations. 
This aligns with Russia's broader strategy of countering Western technological superiority through asymmetric means. The S-500's capabilities place it among the most advanced air defense systems in the world, surpassing many regional and global competitors. While the Patriot system is effective against a range of threats, it lacks the S-500's extensive range and ability to counter hypersonic missiles. The S-500's anti-satellite capabilities further widen the gap. The Aegis system, deployed on naval platforms, is compatible in missile interception capabilities but does not offer the S-500's integrated air defense functionality or land-based deployment flexibility. China HQ-19 missile defense system is a capable competitor, particularly in intercepting ballistic missiles. However, it does not yet match the S-500's range or anti-satellite potential. The India's PAD-AAD systems India's defense systems are effective within their regional context but lack the global reach and versatility of the S-500. The S-500's deployment marks the beginning of a transformative era in air and missile defense, as additional units are produced and deployed Russia's ability to protect its airspace and project power were significantly increased. The system's modular design also allows for potential upgrades, ensuring that it remains relevant against evolving threats. Looking ahead, the S-500 could influence the global arms market. Nations seeking to enhance their strategic defenses may look to acquire similar technologies, potentially driving competition and innovation in air defense systems. Additionally, the S-500's success could spur NATO and other Western powers to accelerate the development of next-generation missile defense technologies, such as directed energy weapons or advanced hypersonic interceptors. The deployment of the S-500 Prometheus underscores Russia's commitment to maintaining a technological edge in air and missile defense. By integrating cutting-edge capabilities, the S-500 addresses both current and emerging threats, reshaping the strategic landscape in Europe and beyond. As the system becomes fully operational and more widely deployed, its impact on global security dynamics will be profound, forcing adversaries to adapt to a new era of advanced air defense technologies.